Are you tired of printing entire sheets of data in Excel only to waste paper and ink on information you don't need? Don't worry. In this video tutorial, I'll walk you through the ways to print only the cells you want in Excel. Either it's a single cell, a range of cells, selection of non-contagious cells. With these tips and tricks, you'll be able to print exactly what you need. Hello there, welcome to Excel TV where you can learn Excel and Excel VP related problems. This is Sabrina and today we will learn how to print selected cells in Excel. So grab your computer and let's get started on printing smarter. I'll show you 6 effective ways to print selected cells in Excel. This Excel file contains information on customers and credit card applications, client name, email, phone number, and credit card type are the four columns. The first approach is simple. Choose the range of cells you want to print. I want to print the customer's name and email. So choose that part. Then select the file tab on the top left of Excel. Click on print or just press Ctrl P. Now choose print selection form settings. Lastly, you'll see that just the selected cells are displayed in the preview section. Finally, click on print to print selected cells. If you routinely print a certain location, this solution may come in extremely helpful. Choose the cells, then go to Page Layout tab, choose the print area, then choose Set Print Area. You may do the work with that. The area you want to print to has been chosen. You may now print the part you choose. Press Ctrl P to finish. The preview box will then only display the cells you selected. To print the cells you choose, click print. Using this technique, we will choose the region that will be the print area in the page setup dialog. Go to page layout tab on the ribbon. Click on print titles. A new dialog box named Page Setup will appear after that. Go to Sheet menu and specify your cell range in the Print Area field by clicking on the up arrow and select the range of cells you want to print. After choosing the Print Area, press Enter or click this down arrow. The Page Setup dialog box will now appear. Following that, you may go at the options you want to employ moving forward. You can either click OK to store it for later or simply print by selecting print from this page. I'm selecting OK for the time being. It has been decided where to print. You can inspect the print preview to see if it prints properly by pressing Ctrl P. Now we will print specific Excel cells using the Page Setup dialog box. You will require the Page Setup group to use this technique. So go to the Page Layout tab, click on the tiny icon from Page Setup. The Page Settings dialog will then show up. Then select the Sheet tab, choose the Print Area, Click on print or you can see the preview by clicking on print preview. But I click OK to establish the selected cells as the print area. Finally, likewise the other methods to see the print preview, I use Ctrl P. I have shown how to establish the print area up to this point. After defining the region, choose the cells that will be printed and glance toward 
the name box. You will notice something intriguing here. Yes, Excel will recognize the range and call it print area once you have saved the print area. As of right now, print area will always be displayed in the name box as an active cell whenever you choose the range. In order to print the chosen cells in Excel using this approach, I will directly use the name range. So choose the cells first, type print area in the name box. The next time I print, this region will already be picked because my print area has been configured. Press Ctrl P to get the print preview. Just the selected cells are displayed in the preview section. To print the cells, I choose click print. The page break preview will be used in this technique to print certain cells. Go to the view tab, click on page break preview option for more book views. Click the border and move it. You can see that I have shifted the boundary to the appropriate location. Place the additional boundaries where you want them. To leave the page break preview, choose normal view. Your print area is finally chosen. To view the print preview, use Ctrl P. You can see that just the selected cells are displayed in the preview section. To print the cells, Click print. Printing selected cells in Excel is a useful feature that can save you time and paper. By following the methods, you can easily print only the cells you want rather than the entire worksheet. This will help you to create more professional looking and customized printouts for your reports and presentation. You can download the practice workbook from the description box. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content.